Project Management Unit 3 for RGPV Exam 2023 Notes are in comments. Software Management Disciplines Iterative Process Planning Iterative process planning is a software development approach that involves breaking down a project into a series of smaller, more manageable iterations. Each iteration involves a complete software development cycle, including requirements gathering, design, implementation, testing, and deployment. The goal of iterative process planning is to reduce risk and uncertainty in the software development process by allowing the team to focus on a smaller set of requirements and design elements at each iteration. This approach also allows for more flexibility in the development process, as changes and adjustments can be made at each iteration based on feedback from stakeholders and end users. Project Organizations and Responsibilities Software development projects are typically organized into teams with different roles and responsibilities. The key roles in a software development team include 1. Project Manager The project manager is responsible for overseeing the entire software development project, including managing resources, schedules, and budgets. 2. Business Analyst The business analyst is responsible for gathering and analyzing requirements for the software system and communicating these requirements to the development team. 3. Developer. The developer is responsible for implementing the software system based on the design and requirement specifications. 4. Tester. The tester is responsible for testing the software system to ensure that it meets the requirements and specifications. 5. Technical writer. The technical writer is responsible for creating documentation for the software system, such as user manuals and training materials. The responsibilities of each role can vary depending on the size and complexity of the software development project. It is important for each team member to understand their role and responsibilities, as well as the roles and responsibilities of the other team members, in order to ensure that the project is completed successfully. In summary, iterative process planning is a software development approach that involves breaking down a project into smaller, more manageable iterations. Project organizations and responsibilities are critical to the success of a software development project and involve roles such as project manager, business analyst, developer, tester, and technical writer. By planning and organizing software development projects effectively, teams can ensure that the software system is developed and delivered successfully. Process automation. Process automation refers to the use of technology to automate repetitive or manual processes in software development. This can include automating tasks such as code compilation, testing, and deployment. Process automation can help to reduce errors and improve efficiency in software development by eliminating the need for manual intervention in these processes. This approach can also help to improve the quality of the software system, as automated processes are more reliable and consistent than manual processes. Project Control Project control refers to the use of tools and techniques to manage and control software development projects. This can include the use of project management software, such as Gantt charts and task lists, to track progress and manage resources. Project control is important in software development because it helps to ensure that projects are completed on time, within budget, and to the desired level of quality. This approach can also help to identify and manage risks associated with software development projects. Process instrumentation. Process instrumentation refers to the use of metrics and measurements to monitor and control software development processes. This can include the use of core metrics, such as lines of code, defect density, and code coverage, to track progress and identify areas for improvement. Process instrumentation is important in software development because it helps to ensure that processes are effective and efficient. By monitoring key metrics and measurements, teams can identify areas where processes can be improved, and make adjustments to improve performance and quality. Core Metrics Core metrics are a set of key measurements used in software development to monitor and control processes. Some examples of core metrics include 1. Lines of code. This metric tracks the amount of code in the software system, and can be used to monitor productivity and complexity. 2. Defect density. This metric tracks the number of defects in the software system per unit of code, and can be used to monitor quality and identify areas for improvement. 3. Code coverage. This metric tracks the percentage of code that is covered by automated tests, and can be used to ensure that tests are effective and thorough. By using core metrics and other process instrumentation techniques, 
Teams can monitor and control software development processes more effectively, and improve the quality and efficiency of the software system. Management Indicators Management indicators are key metrics used by project managers to monitor and control software development projects. These indicators provide insights into the status and progress of the project, and can be used to identify areas for improvement. Some examples of management indicators include 1. Schedule variance. This metric compares the planned schedule of the project to the actual schedule, and can be used to monitor whether the project is ahead of or behind schedule. 2. Budget variance. This metric compares the planned budget of the project to the actual budget, and can be used to monitor whether the project is over or under budget. 3. Defect density. This metric tracks the number of defects in the software system per unit of code, and can be used to monitor the quality of the software system. Life cycle expectations. Life cycle expectations refer to the expected stages and milestones of a software development project. These expectations can be set at the beginning of the project, and can be used to monitor progress and identify areas for improvement. Some examples of life cycle expectations include 1. Requirements gathering. This stage involves gathering and documenting the requirements for the software system. 2. Design and development. This stage involves designing and developing the software system based on the requirements. 3. Testing. This stage involves testing the software system to ensure that it meets the requirements and specifications. 4. Deployment and maintenance. This stage involves deploying the software system and maintaining it over time. Process discriminants. Process discriminants are factors that can impact the success or failure of a software development project. These factors can be internal or external to the project, and can include factors such as project complexity, team size and experience, and stakeholder involvement. Some examples of process discriminants include 1. Project complexity. This factor refers to the level of complexity and difficulty involved in developing the software system, and can impact the time, budget, and resources required to complete the project. 2. Team size and experience. This factor refers to the size and experience level of the development team, and can impact the effectiveness and efficiency of the development process. 3. Stakeholder involvement. This factor refers to the level of involvement and engagement of stakeholders in the development process, and can impact the requirements gathering and decision-making processes. By understanding and managing these factors, software development teams can improve the success and effectiveness of their projects.